Dobro večer svima, evo velika nam je čast što možemo nakon ovog sjajnog koncerta pozdraviti Zvijezde večeri. S nama su Dmitri Čoni i maestro David Runc. Good evening, thank you so much for this wonderful concert, it was really amazing. Uh, first question is uh, for you, Maestro. Uh, in addition to guest uh, conducting, you are also uh, the chief conductor of the Zagreb Philharmonic and the principal uh, conductor of uh, Polish Royal Opera. Uh, what is your impression of your reception of the Zagreb audience? And uh, how hard is it to, to uh, balance between uh, these two positions and I assume frequent travels between Warsaw and Zagreb. Hvala vam što ste došli, divno je bilo i divan je bio koncert, hvala vam još jednom na tome. A sad prvo pitanje je za maestra Runca. Uz nastupe kao gostujući dirigent, istovremeno ste šef dirigent Zagrebačke filharmonije i glavni dirigent Poljske kraljevske opere. Kakav dojam imate o tome kako vas je prihvatila Zagrebačka publika i koliko je teško uskladiti te dvije pozicije i pretpostavljam česta putovanja na relaciji Zagreb-Varšava? Good evening. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, thank you for coming for our concert tonight. It was a huge pleasure to perform uh, in front of the Croatian audience. Um, it's always a big pleasure to, to conduct. It doesn't matter, uh, is it Zagreb Philharmonic Orchestra? Is it Liechtenstein Symphony Orchestra? Uh, next season I will do concert with uh, Music Academy of Zagreb. It's always um, something special in this hall. The audience which enjoy the music, um, and from my point of view, I can tell you when I conduct, and of course I'm behind, I'm turned out from the audience, so audience is out of my back. But I always feel, what kind of audience is it? And here in Zagreb, I, I think I have this feeling of a big support from our audience who follow our uh, performance. So always with the big pleasure uh, I perform here. Regarding to my um, job as a conductor, of course I count very carefully every day. Uh, I mean I count even every hour what I will do uh, just to bring all things together. Um, so uh, basically in Zagreb I spend every month for one week I'm here for Zagreb Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, I'm working in a Warsaw as you mentioned and besides of that um, responsibilities I, I do some projects, some concerts with, uh, with the orchestra. Only in May I had a concert uh, in Madrid, two concerts in Liechtenstein, now here tonight Next week, Zagreb Philharmonic and Beethoven Symphony Number no. Nine, and then is June. Wow, what an energy! <laughs> so yes, it's the very difficult uh, also to bring together the family time. Uh, when my wife is with me, then it's always a big support. And this time she co could not come, but next week she will be here for Beethoven Symphony Number no. Nine. So I'm always very happy. Dobro večer, dame i gospodo. Prije svega, puno vam hvala što ste došli večeras. Uvijek je ogromno zadovoljstvo nastupati pred hrvatskom publikom. I općenito je meni uvijek ogromno zadovoljstvo dirigirati, bez obzira je li to za, sa, pred Zagrebačkom filharmonijom, Lichtenstein'skim simfonijskim orkestrom, a sljedeće godine, sljedeće sezone ću također imati i koncert sa Zagrebačkom muzičkom akademijom. Međutim, uvijek je nešto posebno, isto kao danas, dakle, uvijek jako uživam u, u radu i nastupanju ovdje. To je moje gledište, ja naravno, što se tiče publike, okrenut sam vam leđima. Međutim, ja uvijek osjećam publiku iza sebe i ova publika ovdje u Zagrebu je uvijek velika podrška i jako pomno prati dakle, naš rad i naše nastupe i uvijek je jako veliko zadovoljstvo nastupati ovdje pred ovom publikom. 
Što se tiče mog posla kao, uh, kao dirigenta, i ovo što ste spomenuli da dirigiram sa više orkestara, ja ne samo da brojim dane, nego da brojim sate kako bih napravio sve ono što moram obaviti um, i, i to sve uklopio u svoj, u svoj život i rad. Ja sam obično jedno, jedan tjedan mjesečno ovdje u Zagrebu i radim sa Zagrebačkom filharmonijom. Naravno radim u Varšavi sa orkestrom tamo, a onda osim toga još imam i drugih projekata. Samo ovog svibnja bio sam tako u Madridu, izveli smo sad dva koncerta u Lichtensteinu. Sad sam u Zagrebu sljedeći tjedan također sa Zagrebačkom filharmonijom izvodimo Beethovenovu devetu simfoniju, a onda je već Lipanj. Um, što se tiče obitelji, isto je teško uskladiti obiteljski život sa ovim radnim i uh, velika mi je podrška kad moja supruga uh, dođe na moje nastupe, jer mi je ona dakle, podrška. Uh, ovaj, vikend, ovaj tjedan nije mogla doći, međutim sljedeći tjedan će biti ovdje za Beethovenovu devetu i to će mi biti jako drago. Mr. Johnny, uh, you were chose. You were chosen uh, to perform the concerto for piano and orchestra uh, of the Liechtenstein composer Reinberger quite recently. Uh, we know that you have already played some of his works before, but have you ever played this one before? And uh, how difficult is it to, to, to manage, uh, to practice uh, such a demanding piece in just a few weeks? Uh, drugo pitanje je za uh, Dmitra Čanija. Relativno nedavno ste izabrani da svirate ovaj koncert za klavir i orkestar Lichtensteinskog skladatelja Jozefa Gabriela Reinbergera. Znamo da ste već ranije svirali neka njegova dijela, a jeste li svirali i ovaj koncert za glasovir? Ko, kako ste uspjeli pripremiti tako zahtjevno dijelo u svega nekoliko tjedana? Hello everyone. Um, I would like to say a few words of... Uh, Thank you to the audience for such a warm support. It's been a pleasure playing here. Uh, I played in Croatia before, but it was my debut in Zagreb, and I'm happy that I could play here with Maestro David Runs and Symphony Orchestra of Liechtenstein. It's been a great pleasure, wonderful collaboration, and I hope we will meet again in future and um, among other places here too. Um, so, i I have to say that <coughs> um, when I um, got invited to play this concerto i just uh, I just listened to it and I immediately felt that um, this I understand this music it's a beautiful romantic concerto which was uh, influenced by by Beethoven, by Schumann, by Liszt, you can hear some moments similar to their piano concertos in this piano concerto by Josef Gabriel Reinberger. But at the same time, it's quite unique because um, this music has something which, uh, which, which makes it um, at the same level with, with, with some other major piano concertos. So I think it, um, it can have a place in the concerto repertoire and the pianist repertoire and uh, I enjoyed playing it so um, of course it, it was it was a hard work learning this concerto but uh, since I enjoyed it and I think uh, this music was quite close to me personally um, I was I was happy to do it and I was happy to learn it and it was you know it was quite a unique um, opportunity to play it was this Liechtenstein Symphony Orchestra uh, playing concerto by uh, Reinberger who was born in Liechtenstein so it's a perfect match and as uh, Maestro mentioned you already performed twice this week <coughs> in Liechtenstein that's right so so we played on Tuesday and uh, Wednesday, Wednesday yes and so it was my first time playing it on Tuesday I guess Maestro David Runs uh, as well and I think it was different ev playing it every time, but uh, in general it was better and better understanding between the... Today was the best, yes, we says, got says the best Maestro. Version. Thank yeah. you for that. <laughs> uh, I totally agree. So, uh, I, I did play um, a, a piano quartet by Reinberger before. Um, but in a competition, right? 
No, no. We had several concerts in Liechtenstein and uh, and in in the United States. Uh, was was a was a musicians from the music academy in Liechtenstein. So, um, but this concerto, I like it even more than the quartet. So, yeah, very enjoyable experience. Prije svega također pozdrav svima i hvala vam na ovom vrlo, toplo, vrlo toploj podršci. Um, ja sam već ovdje svirao prije u vašoj zemlji, ovo sad bio moj da bio u Zagrebu. Um, I isto je bilo veliko zadovoljstvo svirati sa maestrom i sa simfoničarima iz Lichtensteina. I stvarno smo imali prekrasnu suradnju i nadam se da ćemo je nastaviti u budućnosti i na drugim mjestima i ovdje. Kad su me pozvali da sviram ovaj koncert, ja sam, ja sam ga poslušao i odmah sam osjetio da ga razumijem. On vrlo je romantičan i isto tako ima neke dijeliće i čuje se i djeluje kao iz Beethovena i Šumana i Lista i to je vrlo slično, dakle nekim njihovim dijelovima glazbe, a s druge strane je potpuno jedinstven. Ta glazba ima nešto što je stavlja na, isti, na istu razinu kao veliki dakle, koncerti za klavir i orkestar. I stvarno mislim da ovaj koncert ima svoje mjesto u repertoaru i pijanističkom i uopće koncertnom repertoaru. Stvarno sam jako uživao svirajući ga. Um, isto tako... Uh, naravno, bilo je teško naučiti ga svirati, međutim, budući uh, da mi se toliko dopao i da sam stvarno uživao, uh, da mi je bio toliko blizu osobno, onda je to stvarno bilo donekle lakše. Uh, isto tako, mislim da je ovo bila jedinstvena prilika da ga sviram dakle, sa uh, Lichtensteinskom simfonijom i to, dakle, Lichtensteinski uh, kompozitor Reinberger, uh, to je stvarno bila savršena kombinacija. Um, Sonja je dopunila pitanje, već su ga izveli ovaj koncert dva puta u Lichtenstein ovaj tjedan, da svirali su ga u utorak i u srijedu i uh, utorak je bilo prvi puta dakle, za njih dvojicu, za mestra i, i, i gospodina Čonija i sa orkestrom i misli da je svaki put bilo sve bolje i bolje i večeras je bila najbolja izvedba. Um, prije toga je svirao još neka dijela od Reinbergera, Piano Portret, uh, i imao je koncerti u Lichtensteinu i u Americi, u SAD-u, sa članovima Muzičke akademije iz Lichtensteina, međutim, ovaj koncert mu se svidio puno više još nego onaj Piano Portret. <laughs> Maestro Runz, uh, you, you are only 31 years old, and you already have an impressive uh, career. You have conducted uh, uh, great musical works, famous orchestras, and you have worked with amazing conductors such as Ricardo Muti and Daniele Gatti. Do you sometimes feel that uh, some, because of your age, maybe some musicians or orchestra members don't perceive you as an authority? And do you have maybe some special recipe for that kind of situations? Maestro Runci, imate samo 31 godinu, a već imate impresivnu karijeru. Već ste ravnali poznatim orkestrima i velikim dijelima, te sarađivali i s velikim dirigentima poput Ricarda Mutija, Daniele Gatija. Osjećate li ponekad da vas zbog vaših godina neki glazbenici ili članovi orkestra ne doživljavaju kao autoriteti? Imate li neki poseban recept za takve situacije? Uh, now, uh, thanks to this uh, introduction, everybody knows what is my age. <laughs> I'm so sorry, was that a secret? <laughs> no, no, this is not a secret. But how can I... Uh, uh, this is not my fault, that is my age. I, I just... <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, um, I was lucky to, to really to, to learn with great conductors the old school very well conductors and the paradox is that the better orchestra i conduct the m the bigger support i receive and i didn't um, 
I don't remember that I would ever have some some um, situation that musicians don't want or don't want to cooperate or uh, uh, want to 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 have some bad atmosphere in the orchestra. No, I think that uh, the most important what you can do when you are young is just to be prepared as the best what you can. So I, besides all of these activities what I spoke about, uh, concerts, uh, traveling, etc., there is also a time, uh, the time which I need to find for learning myself the new scores. And this is uh, extremely difficult. At the same time, it's extremely important because when I stand in front of the orchestra, where it's 80 people, uh, I must be prepared for every question, actually. So it takes really uh, quite a long time. Um, and, uh, well, when I get prepared, when I know the context of the history of music which I conduct, then it's easier for me to follow my direction, my interpretation, and, well, I try to encourage people from the orchestra. And one short uh, thing that, because I'm 31, as you said, so every time when I stand in front of the orchestra is like a lesson for me. I, I, I learn every rehearsal. And this is what I love in this job, that I'm, I meet wonderful musicians, I meet excellent musicians. Also here in the Liechtenstein Orchestra, there are people who played with many better conductors than me. But in talking with them, I feel that I, is, I get inspiration and they also inspire me. So this is something unique in, in this profession. I just need to say, uh, among all other things, I'm so sorry. We noticed uh, one more impressive thing, and that was that you conducted most of the pieces without scores. How do you maintain your concentration? It's really fascinating yeah. to, 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 to yes, know. Yes, and this is about uh, concentration. Um, and I must say, um, of course, it requires uh, hard work, some probably talent, ability, of course, but concentration on the concert. And whenever uh, we, uh, I do a concert uh, and um, when I'm inside of the music and I hear the, ring, the ringing phone, I cannot do it because I'm not a computer. And it's so much disturbed that sometimes, sometimes it's for us too much. And we, all musicians, always ask uh, just that the audience also join to this atmosphere of concert and we everybody are concentrated, not only conductor and musicians, but also the audience. And when we are all together, those three elements are connected, then is performance completed. Um, I will need a lot of concentration now to <laughs> repeat this. <laughs> yes. yeah, before you go on, <laughs> let me. I have to find where the, <laughs> the beginning was. Uh, okay. Uh, here. Dakle, pitanje je bilo, sjećate se pitanja da je tako mlad, 31 godina, već impresivna karijera. Odgovor je počeo, aha, sada svi znaju koliko imam godina. Sonja je rekla da nije znala da je to tajna, pa ne, nije tajna. Srećom sam učio sa i od najboljih dirigenata, onih stvarno dirigenata stare škole. I... A što se tiče orkestara, pokazalo se da što je bolji orkestar, to imam veću podršku od njih. Međutim, unatoč tome, ja se ne sjećam nikakvih situacija u kojima članovi orkestara nisu željeli surađivati ili bi kreirali lošu atmosferu. Međutim, ono što je najvažnije za mene je, budući da sam tako mlad, da uvijek moram doći pripremljen, dakle spreman što je god moguće bolje. I... Kad uzimate, dakle, spomenuli smo sve ove moje aktivnosti i koncerte i putovanja i sve, a ja moram naći također i vremena da se pripremim, da naučim nove note, nove koncerte, nova dijela. 
I to je različito i teško, ali je vrlo, vrlo važno. Jer kad stanete pred orkestar od 80 osoba, od 80 glazbenika, morate biti pripremni na sva pitanja, morate biti dobro pripremljeni, morate znati, a ja se za to dobro pripremam, moram znati kontekst i povijest dijela, i onda mi to daje moj smjer i interpretaciju i tako ja mogu i obodriti i podržati orkestar na najbolji način. Isto tako, kad stanem, svaki put kad stanem pred orkestar, to mi je nova pouka. Dakle, ja uvijek učim od orkestra, kao što i oni od mene. Ja susrećem odlične glazbenike koji su svirali i sa puno boljim dirigentima od mene i razgovarajući s njima, oni su inspiracija meni, kao što se ja nadam da ja inspiriram njih. Sonja je tu dopunila pitanje i rekla je da smo primijetili još jednu jako impresivnu stvar. Naime, maestro je većinu ovog koncerta, ako niste primijetili, dirigirao na pamet, bez nota. Kako to postiže, tu mora da je potrebna vrlo, vrlo velika koncentracija. I da, istina je, najviše se tu je za potrebna koncentracija i to nije lako. Tu naravno je potreban i određeni talent i mogućnosti i sposobnosti pojedinog dirigenta. Međutim, kad ste unutar u glazbi, i tu je sad došla digresija, zato je vrlo nezgodno kad nekome zazvoni telefon iz publike, jer to stvarno jako ometa, teško je zadržati koncentraciju u tom slučaju i to kažu i svi glazbenici. Dakle, i njima isto tako jako smeta kad zazvone telefoni, jer potrebno je upravo da i publika bude dio ove predstave, dio ovog nastupa, da smo svi zajedno u toj glazbi i kad se to troje, dakle, maestro, orkestar i publika sklopi zajedno, onda je to pravi doživljaj. Okay, you were referring to last year's concert of Zagreb Philharmonic. We think it was overblown by the media, but okay, let's go on because we only have time for just one question, uh, Mr. Choni. Uh, uh, let me let me just uh, interpret it. Dakle, referirao se na prošlogodišnji koncert Zagrebačke Filharmonije kad je iz prvih redova nekome zazvonio telefon što je stvarno jako njih omelo, a mediji su to prilično prenapuhali. Uh, Mr. Choni, you collaborated. Uh, you collaborate with with numerous ensembles and conductors. Uh, you also perform as a chamber musician. Uh, so my question is, because I suppose that every collaboration brings you a joy and excitement, but also a challenge. Uh, how easy is it to adapt to uh, different visions of conductor or fellow musicians uh, sometimes, and how do you handle situations such as that? Pitanje je za Dmitra Čanija. Surađujete s brojnim vrhonskim asamblima i dirigentima, nastupate i kao komorni glazbenik. Pretpostavljam da svaka suradnja predstavlja i uzbuđenje veselje, ali i izazov. Koliko je lako prilagoditi se drugačijim vizijama ili temperamentima dirigenata ili kolega glazbenika? Kako vi rješavate takve situacije ako do njih dođe? So, this is a, an interesting question because um, you never know <laughs> how the collaboration is going out to work and um, you just you just well we we are all musicians so let's say we all speak a similar language um, and we just meet and try playing with each other and sometimes it goes very easy very natural very very well sometimes there is some difficulties sometimes it's it's not going so well but <coughs> at the same time we are all professionals and it doesn't matter how it goes is it if you understand each other well or not so well there is a professional side when you have to adapt you have to be flexible you have to work on the collaboration and uh, in the end the, the the final result always has to be as good as possible um, but I have to say that it's uh, it always it's always a big pleasure when you find musicians whom you understand well, whom you respect as a musician, and uh, um, you just yeah you just enjoying playing 
uh, music together and uh, the best thing which which can happen is that the person you're playing with the conductor you're working with or the orchestra you're playing with uh, inspires you then it's it's uh, it's a moment when you get inspired and you want to play better you want to match those musicians so it's a very interesting process and um, um, I love I love it when 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 something happens, um, something wonderful happens, and I have to say that I uh, playing with with David and with uh, with the Symphony Orchestra of Liechtenstein. It's this, in exactly this case. I think I understood uh, uh, Maestro very well, and uh, personally as well as um, on a musical level. So it's been very enjoyable experience for me. <laughs> Uh, ovo je vrlo zanimljivo pitanje. Uh, nikad naravno ne možete znati kako će izgledati suradnja. Uh, mi smo svi glazbenici koji govorimo sličan jezik, sličan jezik glazbe i uh, uvijek pokušavamo dakle, uh, svirati uh, zajedno što je moguće bolje. Nekad je to prirodno i lako, a ponekad je malo teže i ne tako lako. Međutim, svi smo u krajnjem slučaju profesionalci. Uh, potrebno je prilagođavati se, biti fleksibilan i zajednički raditi na tome da uh, u, u krajnjem, uh, krajnji rezultat bude što je moguće bolji. Um, Ponekad je stvarno veliko, veliko zadovoljstvo kad pronađete glazbenike koje poštujete i s kojima uživate svirati i stvarno je najbolje kad se to poklopi, kad pronađete i dirigenta i orkestar koji vas inspirira i s kojim onda stvarno tako želite svirati još bolje nego što inače svirate. To je stvarno zanimljiv proces i... U slučaju upravo maestra Davida Runca i ovih orke, ovog lihtenčanskog orkestra, to se upravo i dogodilo. Stvarno smo kliknuli, dakle razumjeli smo se, maestro i ja, i na osobnoj razini i na razini glazbe i zato sam stvarno jako uživao u ovom koncertu. Thank you so much for tonight and thank you for being the part of uh, Saturday at Lisinski concert series. Maestro, we will see you next season. We hope to see you soon also and we wish you all the best in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hvala i vama, poštovani posjetitelji. Oprostite što se ovo malo odužilo. Bio je ovo zadnji ovo sezonski koncert u ciklusu Lisinski subotom. Vidimo se sljedeće sezone kada ju otvaramo 30. rujna. Do tada svako vam dobro i lijep vam pozdrav.